But once you are big, people will mock at you. Others will be friends with you. I got a particular place that I passed when going to maybe meetings or when you get there, this you know these young boys when they are in an area with you, you know how they behave. Hey, Opolo, shall I tweet? This, this, and so I start laughing. Any name you give me, I respond. Shall I tweet? Then I'll dance for you. I don't have problem with any name you give me. I respond. I, I Unless guess. you insult me. When you insult me, I'll tell you don't insult me. Because I did not ask God to give me this. Okay. And I don't know how to put it. But I don't think be a big person. God created the short, so then we have all the sizes. At 47, Lydia Corte can barely walk. And every three steps she takes comes with them gasp for breath. Her life is almost stagnating because she needs assistance to do nearly everything. I can't walk longer distance again i see the road as too long so i will not go for her you see i'll just sit send my my sister is with me so anything i want she will go and buy it for me so i don't move so i've seen some changes because i quite remember i went to hospital and doctor asked me i shouldn't stand when bathing i should sit down so you see this is very bad because maybe you decide to take something from the floor, maybe you fall down. Or it, the doctor was trying to explain to me that blood could come out from my nostrils and, and it lead to death. And, all. and now it is when I walk through, I feel pains here. You see, first I don't feel that pain. But after the answer, because I don't train again, I started feeling these pains. I can't walk longer distance again. So you see, the changes. If I don't take it three, four, five years, I might be in the room without coming out again. So I think I have to do something about okay. it. Lydia says she has forgotten how many kilograms she weighed the last time she checked two years ago. But the mother of two who sits with me for this conversation knows she's extremely obese. How has she been getting by? At first I was playing volleyball, but after giving birth I stopped sports. Because I realized when you go to training, after training, I eat more. Because after training, you go with your, um, how do I call them, the training masters. You go and sit somewhere, then enjoy yourself. So I, I could see that training and not training. When I start training, I grow bigger. Okay. But when I stop training, I maintain my weight. So I stop training. When you are big too, your chance of getting any sickness is easier. So I decided once you are big, people will mock at you, others will be friends with you. Lydia is just one of the 43% of Ghanaian adults found to be either overweight or obese according to a 2018 joint study between the KNUST and the University of Western Cape in South Africa. She would not eat three square meals now because she wants to cut down on her food intake. With this, with this my body, I don't suppose to take in more carbohydrates. But you will bear with me that carbohydrate food, when you take in, it takes you yeah, longer. So instead of taking like early in the morning, you take your breakfast, and uh, within breakfast, you take your fruits and those things. I don't do it because buying fruits and it was a lot of money and I'm not working. If I'm working, that will not be a problem to me. So when I'm about to eat, what will I take? I'll take banku and then my shito, normal shito and then some dried fish. In 2016, the World Health Organization Health Observatory data revealed nearly 2 billion adults worldwide were overweight, and of these, more than half a billion were obese. Dietitian at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Andrew Tetekwabi, says the figures are alarming in Africa with many risk factors associated with obesity. The definition according to WHO is that a BMI greater than 30 kilograms per meter squared is obese. Obesity is caused by overeating. From a layman's point of view, it's overeating. If you overeat, you become obese. 
um, obesity is one of the common risk factors for most of the um, non-communicable diseases that we have. All right, so diabetes, cancer, high blood cholesterol, kidney problems, stroke, hypertension. The list just goes on and on. The food that you eat, you are supposed to use it. All right, so when we talk of using it, breathing, walking, seeing, there are activities, all right, plus the other activities you do. If you're amazing, you need the food to do all this work. It is quantified as food. So if you eat more than your body needs, and you don't use it, you would become fat. Latest figures on obesity are not readily available, but Andrew Kwebi believes a lot could change with obese people if they seek professional help. Life we have laws, we have natural laws. There's no way that you can get pregnant and in maybe two weeks the child is mature. You no, know, it will take you nine months. The same way too, it took you a couple of years before your weight is now 100 kg or before your weight is now 120 kg. It will take you some time. All right, instant or rapid weight loss is not what we recommend. All right, if you want to lose weight, we take your time. You come and say dietitian or fitness expert. We take our time and plan a special diet for you. Because when we give you a very rigorous plan, you may not be able to follow it. So we need an individual plan. We can't give you a general advice here. So the way forward for such people is that you have to seek professional help. Lydia joined a local dance competition for plus-size women organized by an Accra-based TV network at Tinka TV two years ago to get out of her shell and find confidence in her own skin. The outsized woman who is already out of breath tells me after the dance competition ended, her situation has worsened because she no longer does enough physical activities. Currently unemployed, she says she is unable to subscribe to a gymnasium to begin a routine to shed off the weight. But dietitian Kwabi says expert assistance is required for people like Lydia to be motivated enough to enroll in a program to get them to shed weight. But people like Lydia or those overweight are now turning to the gyms for quick fixes. Coach Kata is a fitness instructor at X Fitness Ghana. Most people come to the gym to lose weight, okay? I'm just using weight loss as an example. Most people come to the gym to lose weight. Now, for something like weight loss, there's more to it than just coming to the gym. Like I stated earlier, um, you need to work on yourself as an individual. You need to find out what is stressing you the most. You need to find out, you know, what, what makes you happy and then get that part of your life sorted out. After that, then you resort to physical exercise. Now, physical exercise or the gym helps speed up weight loss. Okay, it helps speed up weight loss, but it isn't the answer. Others have taken to don jogs up and down hilltops in parts of Accra. Mami Dufie is one of them here at New Fadama. I am in other station be here. I was there on Sana. My bab on Into me free say no. As a member of Bontina, Mbeye, Jogging Kakura, and Untina. Bye. I started okay, indoors, oh, but I've decided to come out today. Oh, clock. Okay. Yeah, about two hours. Eh. Uh, okay. It, would it be your first and last and I'll be back more, more often? Then be a member. Welcome, me, call, Miss. I have been here for two hours. First, near war, Mamma will be. Near you by a better now, I say. Okay. I used to be obese, but I've seen drastic changes. First, I'm starting across the you up the Pedrasi Hill, many others in groups undertake aerobic exercises, like 35-year-old Emmanuel Kuma, who weighed 120 kilograms, about the weight of two cement bags. You know, I travel out for my studies in UK. When I came back, I was bloated. I, I've become very, very fat. So, friends were laughing at me. Obolo thoughty, obolo thoughty. And then, I decided to at least calm down because it got to a point I was getting annoyed 
Everybody was telling me, Obolo Toti, Obolo Toti. In South Africa, Parliament took a brave step towards promoting the health of the country's citizens and reducing diet related non communicable diseases such as diabetes by passing a bill to implement a tax on sugar sweetened beverages. This, the World Health Organization believes, is a positive step. <laughs> There are intensified campaigns for obese people to pay more taxes and pay higher for goods and services as a means of dealing with the matter. The success of this module has not been evaluated yet, but it is reported one in three Americans wants obese people taxed more. Hungary and Denmark are battling the obesity epidemic, but a fat tax on unhealthy foods is expected to help deal with the matter somewhat. In Africa, there are calls for such a measure to help deal with the burgeoning obesity numbers. That could limit people like Lydia from accumulating more body fats. And restaurants and food bars that serve food portions more than the consumer can have at a sitting must reconsider how foods are sold. Lydia wants restaurants to cut down on their food portions for obese people so they do not keep piling them up. When you take me to a restaurant, and the plate is 15. I'll take plate 15. If I can finish all, I'll finish all. If I can't finish all, I'll leave the rest. I'll not say because I use 20 Ghana, 40 Ghana to buy. So, no. What, what, what I want them to do is, uh, because they have gone in, they have gone through uh, the uh, nutritional, uh, this thing and then the, they should be able, when they see a bigger person, they should be bored to talk to the person, Madam, this and this will not help you. But because they are selling, you know now selling is for money. I want my money. So whatever you want is what I'll do. While she ponders over the next step to take, many Ghanaians say voluntary dawn jogging could help trim down some more. Today, the gyms are full. The parks are full. The hospitals are also inundated with people. And the 43% of Ghanaian adults found to be either overweight or obese are still hoping their weight loss journey yields results.